As reported, Ukraine attacked the oil depot in Feodosia on the night of October the 7th. The marine oil terminal, the largest in Crimea, in terms of oil products, transshipment volume, came under attack. A strong fire started. Apparently, drones hit the facility in several places as photos with three columns of thick black smoke appeared in social networks. The city authorities introduced a regime of technogenic emergency of a municipal nature, restricting access of people and transport to the affected area. No casualties were reported. Ukrainian media wrote that the facility was attacked by drones and Russian media that there were two missiles. Defense Express expert Valery Ryabik voiced his opinion regarding the events in Feodosia on October the 7th. He does not rule out that Kiev carried out an attack on the oil depot using new weapons. He did not rule out that, most likely, these were medium-range drones, but which can carry an explosive weighing up to 20 kilograms. It is possible that the range of the drones is from 500 to 600 kilometers. Ryabik does not rule out that Kyiv used one of the three types of Palyanitsia drone missile in yesterday's operation. It is also possible that the strikes were carried out with long-range missiles supplied to Kyiv by the West. We are talking about the British Storm Shadow missiles. The most interesting thing is that the Pantsir air defense system has been installed at the oil depot since the autumn of 2022, but it was unable to intercept all the air targets that attacked the terminal. Meanwhile, the fire at the oil depot in Feodosia has entered its second day. The media reports that five fuel tanks are burning. The occupation authorities have resettled residents of the private sector from the emergency zone. Late yesterday evening, one of the burning fuel tanks exploded. So far, they have not been able to extinguish the oil depot in Crimea in Feodosia, which caught fire on October the 7th as a result of a drone attack. The Russian-appointed mayor of the city, Igor Kachenko, said that work on the elimination of the fire continues and to ensure the safety of people living near the site of the emergency in the area of the Black Sea embankment and near Kamishi evacuation was carried out. In particular, 1,047 people were sent to temporary accommodation centers, hotels and boarding houses. Kachenko added that the evacuees were examined by medics. It is noteworthy that the Pantsir C-1 air defense system was deployed on the territory of the port where the terminal is located. This was found out by Radio Svaboda journalists after analyzing satellite images. However, the unit failed to repel the attack of the Ukrainian drones. Victor Bout, an arms dealer sentenced to 25 years in a U.S. prison, has reportedly been negotiating the sale of firearms to Iran-backed Houthi militants in Yemen after his release through a prisoner swap. The Wall Street Journal reported this, citing a European security official and other sources familiar with the matter. Bout, often referred to as the Merchant of Death, was released nearly two years ago following a high-profile prisoner exchange between the U.S. and Russia. According to the Wall Street Journal sources, Bout has since established contact with Iranian-backed Houthi militants in Yemen and is negotiating a deal to sell small arms, including AK-74 rifles valued at 10 million US dollars. While in prison, Bout had a portrait of Russian President Vladimir Putin on his cell wall and expressed strong support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. His release in December 2022 came after a swap with American basketball player Brittany Griner who had been convicted in Russia for alleged drug possession. Since his release, Bout has frequently appeared on Russian television offering commentary on Russian politics and criticism of the US. Russian media often cite him as an expert on arms trading. When Houthi emissaries went to Moscow in August to negotiate the purchase of 10 million US dollars worth of automatic weapons, they encountered a familiar face, the mustachioed Bout. Wall Street Journal reports, According to Wall Street Journal sources, the negotiations centered on the supply of AK-74 rifles with additional discussions about the sale of Cornet, anti-tank systems and anti-aircraft weapons. These arms deliveries could reportedly begin in October, disguised as shipments of food products to the port of Hodaida, where Russia has already delivered grain. In the days since Israel intensified its campaign against Hezbollah in Lebanon, including the strike that killed the militant group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels have been quick to show they are an important player in the complex conflicts convulsing the Middle East.
In a brazen attack, the Houthis fired a ballistic missile at Israel's main airport. It is expected that the Houthis will use the weapons bought from the Russians against Israel. Recall, Bout gained notoriety in 2005 when the US imposed sanctions on him for trading weapons in exchange for diamonds with former Liberian president and convicted war criminal Charles Taylor. He was also accused by UN experts of violating international arms embargoes on Angola and the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 2008, Bout was arrested in Thailand during a sting operation by US Drug Enforcement Administration agents posing as Colombian rebels. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison, but served only 12 before his release in the 2022 prisoner exchange.